Hey, I'm Sean Martin with Donick Snowboards and Donick Tools. It's been a really long time since I put together any summer video updates, but I think this one is really worth it. I'm standing in front of one of our snowboard presses here, and what you see right over my shoulder there is the controllers that control those presses or control that press. The gray one is the one we are replacing, and the white one is the new one. I'm going to tell you all about it. So this new controller right here is uh, kind of neat. It's part of a project we conceived of a little less than a year ago. And it's actually just one little piece of that project. But what's unique about it from your perspective is this little cable right here and this is a network cable this is a what you might call an internet of things device essentially what's going to happen is as soon as we know that your board has been pressed so will you and we're going to give you a little more information about that in the next few weeks so you might wonder what it is these particular devices uh, do here and their primary purpose has always been to control the temperature of the board as it is being pressed. And the gray unit over here that we built back in about 1999 uh, was designed just to do that. We've got two Love 1600 controllers here uh, and some electronics inside the box and all of that worked together to control the temperature of the top and bottom layers in the press. We also have a little kitchen timer here on the side that was used to time the cycle. Uh, moving over to this device here, it does a little bit more. It not only controls the temperature of the press, it uh, does that data logging as I said. It is a self-diagnostic tool so it diagnoses problems with that temperature control system. Um, it acts as the countdown timer and by the end of the summer it will even talk to our air compressor and tell it when the press needs air. So if you're a curious person you might be asking yourself well how did he do that? I'm using a little controller or microcomputer. It's an open source device called an Arduino. And this is a little computer that allows you to control your world, essentially. You can turn things on and off. You can sense things. You can do all sorts of crazy stuff. They're quite inexpensive, available to anybody, and like I said, open source. So uh, you can go on the internet and learn how to use them all by yourself. Find all sorts of resources on programming them, setting them up, making them do things that you want them to do. So I'll give you a little tour of what's inside our box because I'm sure there's engineers and Arduino nuts out there who'd love to see that stuff. Now, I hate working inside of an electronic enclosure, so they can be very cumbersome to work in. So I designed my own. This is all made out of ABS plastic and cut on our CNC. And what's kind of cool about this is it breaks down and Sorry, hard to hold the camera and do this at the same time. All the sides fold down so that you can get in there, work on your devices, and then it all folds right back up and becomes a box. Very cool. Anyways, what we have in here on the bottom, right down there, it's a little dark is an Arduino Mega, and I know it looks like a rat's nest in here. Done our best to wire things up cleanly. On top of that is a um, Ethernet shield. And then we've got some Adafruit thermocouple sensing boards here. A couple of current sensors, which are part of that self-diagnostic system. Uh, basically, it's sensing the current draw, determining whether there is a short of any kind and we'll actually turn off the mechanical contactor here 
and either save any individual from becoming shocked or the more common thing of uh, burning up heaters, it's going to save those heaters. We've got a relay board in here that actually turns the Arduino on and off. And then there's a LCD and a uh, five button controller for our menu. And then on the front here, we've also got a touchpad, which is where the operator enters the serial number. So thanks for watching. If you found this video based on the Arduino content and you are a snowboarder, please take a look at Donic.com. If you are a CNC person who has a CNC router and would like to learn more about cutting with a knife on that tool, take a look at DonicTools.com. Thanks again for watching.